Okay, welcome to Witch Place Radio. This is another one of those quick hits episodes, which is uh, sort of my way of introducing myself and listeners to uh, new artists in Winnipeg or or bands that are new to me. And uh, the band that I have on today, one of the members is not new to this show in the sense that she's in about 350 bands <laughs> in Winnipeg. But... Yeah. This project, particularly, this is this is this is a new one, um, fairly new to me as well, and I think fairly new in general. So I think maybe the best way to kick this off is if the two of you want to introduce yourselves and give a bit of background about the band. Yeah, of course. Sure. Well, you know Haley; she's yeah. in like yeah. so many bands, and I'm Sophie. Our band is called Stellar. Stellar. Um, okay. We started it in January. Yeah, kind of in the midst of one of the pandemic bands. Is Lockdowns, yeah. yeah. Lockdowns band. <laughs> So yeah, we, we actually went to university together, so that's how we know each other, and then we were both musically inclined, mm-hmm. so we're like, well, let's get together and like start a musical music group, right? Yeah. So uh, it's kind of just been up from there. Yeah, we started doing uh, songs on FaceTime, uh, which didn't go that great, but still mm-hmm. decided to persevere and create a band. Things yeah. have been going better now that we can uh, be together in person. Yeah, For sure, yeah. Well, maybe that's a, a good place to start is how, how does that work being a band in a pandemic and starting a band during a pandemic? Because, you know, obviously I'm, I'm almost sick of talking about it at this point, but it's affected everybody, especially mm-hmm. creative people so much um, over the past almost two years now. So, yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> why do it now? <laughs> it just seems like the worst oh, possible time yeah, in human I, history to start a band. I think it stemmed out of exactly what you were talking about, like that feeling that all these creative people were having, just like feeling so deprived of like, like we met doing theater Mm -hmm. and I'm a theater major. And so I was just feeling so like, I I needed that creative fix. And we we had a break from school and we kind of just Mm -hmm. were so bored and decided that we wanted to just jam around. And then it it kind of stemmed out of that, like just need to create. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Yeah, it gives you some, like in that time, it's hard to find like the motivation or inspiration because you're always in that same space. So at least- Giving yourself, a, uh, giving yourself a project to work on. And yeah. it's, yeah, it's just a really good outlet to have. Well, and I know that, uh, you know, whatever I said, 750 or whatever bands you're in, you're not in that many bands, but you are in a lot of bands. So how, how does this fit in with that? Now that shows are starting to happen again and all of your 7 million bands can, can perform <laughs> live now, how do you juggle that? And, and how, where does this fit sort of in that uh, continuum of, of bands that you uh, play in? Hmm. So um, I guess for me, it's just, uh, music is very much a priority for me and each one of my projects is like an equal priority for me so so far it hasn't been an issue in terms of um like shows and stuff lining yeah. up usually you want that time in between shows per band right that or most venues would like that so um i just if if it's important to you you make the time for it so that's really how it's been so far okay it's okay. really nice yeah <laughs> and she really has like when she first kind of told me the deal with all the bands i was like Okay, <laughs> but she really has made the time for each one. So That's, cool. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I hate, I hate asking this question, and everyone hates answering it. But how do you define the style of music you play? I mean, from what I've heard, it sounds kind of indie pop sort of vibes. Is that what you consider it, or is there something else? Yeah, indie pop, indie folk. Um, mm-hmm. We're kind of inspired by like Joni Mitchell and a bunch of indie artists like Phoebe Bridgers and Boy Genius. So yeah, you're right on with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that just something that you naturally, the two of you sort of both agree on musically or, or how, where did that sort of come from that sound? I, you're probably more drawn to like the folky stuff. Yeah, I probably more like 70s yeah. folk, like, like we said, like Joni Mitchell sort of era. And then you kind of have the more indie. like indie, like current um scene yeah. vibe so it's 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 nice to bring like kind of Combine. old and new and find that um middle ground yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. what do you think works well uh between the two of you I mean like you said you know you, you obviously have gone to school together you know each other that way but what I mean for especially for a two-person band right what is the connection between the two of you that, that, that works out well I feel like we balance each other out really well mm-hmm. we were just talking about this mm-hmm. like we have both of our laptops on the table and Haley's like screen there's like files everywhere just like <laughs> and mine, like mine yeah. Have, yeah mine I have like two rows of files on each side so like I think we balance each other really well yeah. with that kind of stuff like I'm like the organizational kind of person and then Haley's mm-hmm. good at like the creative like yeah just free flowing, <laughs> free flowing. So sure I don't know but so, yeah, yeah personalities definitely complement yeah. each other and in terms of music like Sophie's very much like lyric yeah I'd yeah say. okay 
and I'm becoming more versed in guitar. So Amazing. this has been also this like project's been really good to get my guitar chops up. Yeah, because, cool. Uh, I'm not yeah. very good. <laughs> so we're both learning together, and that's yeah. what makes it really, really yeah. awesome. Totally. So what's the what's the plan uh, going forward now? I mean, now that now that shows can happen, hopefully for that will continue. Who knows? But I mean, uh, are you hoping to get out there and, and play live, or are you focusing on recording, or what's sort of in the cards? Honestly, Ooh, God, both. Oh, both of that. Yeah, we did have one show already at the at the pyramid as part of Sandman and Friends, and that was about like a couple weeks ago. And we have one coming up October sixteenth. Moonfield is having their EP release at the Albert. Cool. So we are playing there mm -hmm. as well as Double Talk. Uh, that's our next show and then we're um, we're hoping to continue that trend kind of get our names out there but we're also mm -hmm. focusing on recording a couple songs and hopefully releasing an EP in the next couple months oh cool okay what is what does it take to get your names out there now I mean the, the pandemic aside there's so many people starting bands now which is awesome and, and it seems like every day I hear about 10 new local bands like yeah. how, how do you sort of get yourselves out there especially as uh, as as a group that's playing something that maybe isn't uh I mean, it's not, it's, not, it's not loud, it's not aggressive. You're doing something fairly yeah. subdued and, and chill, right? Is it harder to sort of get people to know who you are because of that? It's definitely different. Like, we kind of discovered that playing with Sandman and Friends because they were all, uh, all the bands playing were like super high energy. Yeah, yeah. they were like full bands. Yeah. And of course, for that show, we brought in uh, two musicians people. so we could become a full band for yeah. that one, but it's definitely uh it's different especially mm -hmm. when you're looking for other people to play with like yeah. a lot of the scene is like rock and uh, yeah. hip of course so um but we've we've been doing well so far I'd say just, we you know. we just have had to get kind of creative in our marketing which we've actually found really fun like mm -hmm. fun like funny TikToks and stuff on our Instagram mm -hmm. and also like um just coming up with new ideas to like market our song and our band uh before our first song released we printed out like these little cards and then like handed them out all around Winnipeg kind of in the spaces where we like assumed that a lot of the people were into like the indie slash acoustic okay. vibes so yeah we're just kind of getting creative with our marketing which mm -hmm. has been really fun honestly well, and you said you're playing at the Albert, which is like maybe the last possible venue you'd expect uh, to have like a, a chill indie folk duo. But um, yeah. does that kind of um, like, do you think you're versatile enough that you could play, say, a coffee house and then play a bar, you know, in the same weekend or something because you could play just the two of you or with a full band, that kind of thing? I think that's Definitely. our goal to become that versatile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even within the songs like we have right now, yeah. they're very versatile. Like, um, switch it like up. Call Me Goodbye is definitely like a, a, a uh, slower one mm -hmm. I, I would say like in the mix of them so yeah. out of our originals like even like when we played at the pyramid like it's it's a little more high energy mm -hmm. um is definitely what's coming for our originals so yeah okay. we kind of yeah we kind of rehearse the songs in different ways depending on the venue that we're going to be playing them at yeah. is it, are you hoping to expand this into an actual permanent live band or is it going to just be the two of you and then collaborators yeah mm -hmm. I think we're kind of playing with different things like different members for like live shows and then sure. getting some creative input on projects yeah like we definitely have um uh like a, our, our group of friends we know through school yeah. and whatnot that we um can ask to play with us and yeah. we definitely like have some people in mind to eventually have this like be a full band yeah so cool. that is the plan mm-hmm where can people hear this? I mean, I know you have, you, you, you have, by the time this comes out, you might have more songs out. I mean, the good thing about it being a podcast is it's available whenever. So someone could hear this a year from now. And by then, maybe you've got an EP out and maybe you're playing lots of shows. What, what's the best, um, yeah, fingers crossed, right? What, what, what's the best uh, place to go online to, to find your music and, and to keep, keep in touch with what you're doing? Yeah, so our first song, Call Me Goodbye, is on Spotify and Apple Music, and um, we're hoping to release all the other songs through there. But we also have, like, covers and little sneak peeks of songs on our Instagram, yeah. at this is Stellar. Okay. And then our Spotify is Stellar, all caps, yeah. and it should, you should be able to find it. Okay. And, and then I guess you, you have a music video, too, right? For the, uh, yeah. for the single? So YouTube, too. That'll yeah, be on YouTube. Yeah, if you just put Stellar, Call Me Goodbye pop right up and we're hoping to continue with that trend of doing music videos with each song we've got lots of connections to like amazing filmmakers so that's been super fun to play with that as well cool 